Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. Recently, at least starting with WordPress 5.7.1 version of the Lightsail Blueprints, uh, you'll see here that this is 5.7.2, but even the previous version, 5.7.1 of the Lightsail Blueprints, Bitnami has started to change the way their systems are configured and deployed. They have been mentioning this change in many of their online documentations and they ha actually have an article here as well and it seems like light cell blueprints are now starting to see these changes so in this quick video i wanted to go over the changes that you will need to know for managing light cell wordpress instances and so without further ado let's get started Cell instance here and um, this is one, the one of the newer instances so the first change that I've noticed is the WordPress installation um, the new installation path for WordPress files are located at home bitnami stack and then WordPress and if you do an ls-al you'll see that this is where all of the WordPress files are now located. Um, now previously, the uh, installation files were located in uh, Home, Bitnami, and then there was a folder called Apps. And within the Apps folder, you had uh, your WordPress folder as well as other applications that they would install, for example, PHP MyAdmin. And so it would be under WordPress and then htdocs is where they would have your WordPress installations file. So that has changed now. And the new location is um, right here, home Vietnami stack WordPress. The next thing you'll notice here, as I did the ls-al and I listed the folder contents, you'll notice that the two files here that are in bright blue or light blue, uh, wp-config.php file and the folder wp-content, those have changed. Those are no longer part of this file system or this folder. Uh, those point to these are basically now sim links or links over to a different file structure. So the WP content folder is now in Bitnami, WordPress. If we go over to this directory, you'll see here that the WP config file and the WP content file are now located here and are outside of the WordPress installation folder. Uh, I'm not sure if the advantages or the purpose behind it, but this is one of the changes that I've started to see in the newer versions of the Bitnami blueprints. The third item I wanted to show you was the WordPress configuration files um, or um, web server configuration files for the application WordPress. Uh, we typically have gone in there to make some changes for things like HT access or um, other configuration parameters. Um, so that location has changed. Those files are now located in opt, bitnami, uh, apache2, and conf, and then vhost. So these files now, you'll see here there's a WordPress HTTPS vhost and a WordPress vhost, dash vhost.conf. So WordPress dash HTTPS dash vhost.conf and WordPress dash vhost.conf. So if we just take a look at one of these files, you'll see here, this is where um, the configuration, uh, HTTPD configuration, your web server configurations are, are added. And then they've included the additional HT access file, which is located inside the vhost HT access WordPress HT access. So one of the things in one of my previous tutorials I showed you is to enable HT access at your WordPress installation level. And so what we uh, would do here is change this allow override to um, all uh, instead of none. So this is where these these configuration files are now located. The fourth item is um, actually something I can't show you because the Bitnami helper tool is no longer installed. This was a small program that Bitnami included in all of their instances that allowed you to quickly see what other tools are available that would help you do things. For example, the Bitnami cert 
um, SSL generation tool. The CERT tool is still available, but they removed the helper program. As I was mentioning, the, uh, the Bitnami helper tool is removed, but the CERT tool and the support tool are still here and available for you to use for, um, for the CERT tool to generate SSL certificates and the support tool. If you are submitting tickets to Bitnami, then um, this tool will generate information that you can submit to them about your instance. And now the fifth item that they've removed, and this is probably a welcoming news for everyone, is the Bitnami banner uh, has been removed. This was a pre-installed banner that always displayed at the bottom right edge of your WordPress website, and you would always have to run in a special tool to remove that uh, banner. Well, now with newer WordPress instances, Bitnami does not include that anymore, which is great because that's one less step we need to take to remove that tool. So right here, and you'll see that Bitnami banner tool on this newer instance is not there. So another change that I've started to notice is, um, uh, so if we go here to CD, so I'm in my home directory, You'll see here that there's an htdocs folder, which is the Bitnami default htdocs, which I don't think we need to do anything here necessarily, but here's the stack folder. So if we go to stack and we do the ls, uh, another change that I've noticed is they did uh, keep PHP my admin, but that's in the stack folder. And they've also um, made a sim link from Apache 2 to Apache. So the actual folder is Apache where all the configuration files are, uh, but Apache 2 is a uh, maybe a for compatibility reasons. Uh, the older Bitnami instances had Apache 2 as the main folder. So probably for compatibility reasons, they kept that over. And then the WP CLI is also here. One thing on these newer instances and in a recent tutorial I did about the WP CLI, um, you have to start putting sudo in front of all your WPCLI commands. That's a configuration Bitnami uh, WordPress installs come with or, or have been configured with. Uh, and then finally, there's uh, the documentation. You can read through this to understand um, what they've done and why they have done this change. And then there's uh, some more documentation around where to find uh, other changes or how to find certain configuration or certain files in the new uh, setup. If you want to know if your system is using the new Bitnami configuration or if your system is using the old Bitnami configuration, Bitnami has a quick command that you can run. This is available on uh, in all of their online documentation. So you must have seen this to uh, basically identify whether you're using the Bitnami stack using native Linux system packages or B, a self-contained installation. So previous to WordPress 5.7.1, they uh, they they named that those instance configurations as self-contained installations, and then the newer versions are using native Linux system packages, and they call that system um, uh, A. So this is the command you run, and you can just copy this command, and go to your command prompt, your terminal window, and just paste it. And if you run it. You'll see that um, it returns back which type of installation configuration you have. And for this newer one, so it'll, it will say approach A using system packages. On the older versions, if you run that same command, it will look, um, it will look like this, approach B, self-contained installation. Um, so that's it. Really, I just wanted to quickly show you some of these changes. There could be some more changes that I haven't uh, found yet or noticed yet. Um, so if you have noticed any of the, uh, any other changes, please put those down in the comments below for us to understand. Um, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others. And as always, if you like these kind of video tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until the next video tutorial, take care.